What's going on everybody? It's Sunday morning and my wife and son are out of the house for the majority of the day which gives me some time to work on the bike again. Uh, I'm going to try to tackle the subframe and get that bolted in fully um, and then I'm going to try to weld some bungs for the gas tank so I can finally secure that. So let's get ahead and start motoring. So where I left off last time is I got that side of the subframe bolted in, welded, and then I got those done as well. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get those welded to there with some threaded nuts that I bought. Um, just so I can take this apart if I ever have to fix it for whatever reason. Then I'll tackle um, this section here where I can put the gas tank back on. So I'm going to go ahead and try to mock up where this thing goes here. So I'm thinking I want it to go like that, but this needs to stretch over the frame. It's gonna have to sit like that somehow. These here I think are made of metal, so I might be able to weld to it, but it looks like it's part of the intake track for the carbs, I think. Or yeah, it looks like it's part of the intake. So I'm gonna see if I can weld above it or below it. I don't really have a choice. It's probably gonna have to go right here because I can't. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I can weld directly on this. Um, because then my frame is going to be way wider than my actual seat. So right now that's the way it's, whoops. So the way that this is sitting right here, I just need to stretch it over just a bit. Like it's going to have to stretch over like that. Um, so I think I'm going to have to weld an extension piece on to make this work because, as mentioned in a previous video, the Virago's intake system is part of the frame. So all of this is part of the frame. Um, so I can't really cut into it or make holes or anything like that because then I won't be able to breathe properly as it's intended to do. I would, that's the stock intake right now that I just bolted directly to the frame. I'm having a hard time trying to find aftermarket filters for this. So if I, do this, I'm going to look for somebody who can actually recarb and rejet everything, and then I'll put the intakes right on the throttle body itself, um, pretty much like right here where that silver tube is. I'd rather just put a cone filter there instead of having it run through the frame, but I don't know if I can do that or find anybody locally who knows how to do that stuff, so I don't want to weld to the frame or break through it yet. I've been giving this some thought and my original way of installing uh, the seat to the subframe is not really going to work out. So what I'm going to do is I've cut this piece of tube here, the same stuff I used to make the subframe. I'm going to weld it to the frame itself right there and then what I'll do, so it'll be welded like that to the frame and then all I have to do after that is weld or rather drill through um, right here and then I have something for the threaded nuts to go through um, so it'll basically sit just like this it'll be like a complete piece I guess but this piece is going to be stationary and welded directly to the frame I might have to grind this down but I'm a little worried that it's going to go too deep um, and then I'll screw up the intake track for this bike. So maybe I'll try and notch it a little bit better, um, just a little oval out of this, because it's a pretty substantial lip, as you can see. So this sticks up a lot, so I'm gonna try to cut it um, just so this piece of tube sits in there a little better. Before I start welding, I need to grind away some of the paint here, just so I can weld this on properly. Otherwise it won't well. So I'm just approximately. So I have this wire brush thing adapter for my drill. I'm just gonna strip some of the paint off. So this piece of tubing I'm going to weld to um, should be pretty clean and raw. 
It's always a good idea to just rough it up a bit, and this has some red paint on it. I'm gonna try to just clean it up really quickly. Clean it up nicely here, so you can see. So that should help weld it. I've decided not to cut grooves here because this is kind of actually where it lands. Um, so I'm, I've decided not to cut the grooves out into the, the bead here. I'll just weld this directly on top because it doesn't really make a difference. A lot of this build is totally improvised. I've never done anything like this and I don't know what the hell I'm doing half the time. So I don't feel like you need to be a pro to tackle a job like this. I am not a pro welder. Okay, so I've tacked it into place. Okay, so my plan here is to use a nut that I got at Home Depot, and I'm basically going to weld it inside of this tube, and then I can put this over top. I'll drill through here, and then I can attach this bolt through there and then that gives me something to thread into. So again, this is just something I'm going to tack weld into place. I don't know if this is going to work because I've never done anything like this, but it's just an idea I came up with. I'm keeping the bolt inside of the threads just so if it overheats too much, I can hopefully unthread it and to keep splatter from getting inside of it. So, I actually didn't get any inside. I told you, I'm not a pro welder, so I'll have to clean that up with a grinder, but it seems to have worked. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to drill those caps now to fit inside of there. I'm actually just gonna brush it off real quick.
I guess that's. I think I gotta go one up. Boom. I think these are. I think these ones here are an inch and a quarter. size bigger but I also just need it bigger. Just so I don't have to do this one. Okay, so this is not clearly gonna be easy to move if I ever have to take this off. Oh shit. So the mono shock on this, where I just welded that piece with seat, the bolt to unhook it or detach it from the frame is right there. So I think there's still enough space for it to come out. It's just gonna be a pain in the ass. I put some thought about how I'm gonna mount the back of the tank. So I created this um, piece of some square steel and I've just cut some flat parts out. And the tank has some stock mounting plates or points that I'm going to reuse right now. So I'm basically going to put it like this. I'm going to use this hardware that came with it. here. So I put some markings here 
And there, just so I know that's exactly where I want it to line up. Some even gaps at the front here. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld that nut onto, I think, where the old tank used to clip on. Um, this will allow me to well, or attach my tank, the new tank, to the frame now. So I'm gone and cut this little piece here. It's on an angle, so basically what's going to happen is I attach the frame, I'll weld it onto, I can weld that onto there, and then I can have something to thread into after. Finished welding here, kind of turned out nicely. So there's a weld, there's a screw. Now the tank is secured on this side, it's not going anywhere. It's on there. So I really screwed up. I chopped my subframe in half because I wanted this part to tilt up more to fit the contour of the seat. And I ended up cutting too much and when I tried to weld, it fell off. So my only option right now is to take these um, <clears throat> screws that I found laying around or hex nuts or whatever. I'm going to weld it on the inside. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'll slip the tube over and then hopefully that gives me enough material to weld it back together. I was able to save it, thankfully, so I don't have to redo it. It's not very pretty, but it'll work. So the bolts I put inside Gave it the strength it needs to carry the load. Um, this side's really bad because the gap was huge. I cut out a lot of material. The other side's not so bad. This side's not that bad. And I'm able to weld a lot of it to bridge it. Um, it's definitely not as nice as it once was, but I needed to bend it up a little bit more just so I can get the bottom of this subframe here to line up with the seat nicely and to close the gap at the front of the tank. Um, <clears throat> so over here I wanted this gap to be nice and tight instead of having a giant gap. When I would sit on it you could see it. So now it doesn't look so bad. So I mean overall it still looks okay. You get the idea but Definitely the subframe is no longer as pretty, pretty as it once was, which sucks. So learning lesson. So I'm going to call it a day for now because I'm frustrated and I don't want to keep working on it if I'm frustrated. So I have the back of the tank um, hooked up to the frame so it's secured. But now I have to work on the front at some point. I have to fill in the subframe cuts now where I messed up. Bolt on the seat, that should be good. Next I'll work on the tray underneath the subframe to hide all the wires and possibly the new location of the battery. I've seen people put it under here, but that'll depend with the new exhaust and how big the new battery is. Because this is a 900, I'll probably need a 12 cell uh, gel battery and it's still fairly big, so I don't think it'll fit nicely under there. Uh, most people who've done these conversions use 750s so you don't need as big of a battery. So I'll probably put it right in here somewhere under the subframe. Um, and I'll work on that next time. Thanks for watching.